Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to Rich with Cars. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of my older content where I cover a bunch of different vehicles, mainly being Lexus vehicles, but I also cover other luxury cars. On this week's episode, I'm going to be doing a sort of like DIY or covering the installation of a custom steering wheel for this gorgeous LC500 I have right beside, right behind me. That's going to be the steering wheel we're putting on. So guys, as always, let's strap in and take a look. <laughs> So this is the vehicle we're going to be installing the custom steering wheel with. The first step that we're going to be doing is disconnecting the battery that's located here in the rear trunk area. And then of course, we're going to take that steering wheel, install it inside. But before actually installing it, we're going to have to go inside and remove the original steering wheel and make sure not to damage anything, hopefully as we're you know, removing the steering wheel because uh, as some of you might know, the most important thing is not to damage the clock spring on the inside. So that's gonna be the main concern as we're trying to remove everything. But as we're doing that, we're gonna be, once the, the OEM steering wheel is removed, we're gonna be removing the airbag cover, the airbag that's inside and all the buttons and then transferring all those onto the new steering wheel and then plugging everything back in. So. Let's take a look on how this goes. Wish us good luck, guys. So just removing some covers here in the rear so that we have access to the battery and disconnect that because of course that's gonna be very important to get that removed. So that's first step, battery has been disconnected. So next step is gonna be removing this cover here in the rear. We can see that there's a little panel over here so we need to get to the springs uh, that sit behind the airbag cover. So there's gonna be one here and then another one. Let's see if we can get there. There, if you guys can see that. The one's off. Now we're gonna be removing the other one. That's on the other side. Oh, it looks good. There you go. Here on the replacement steering wheel, we have some locking pins. You have three locking pins and you just have to push it like that to release it. They're, they seem to be C pins. So sometimes those are a little bit uh, annoying to get, to get working around them, but let's see what, uh, what ends up happening. But that's one, that's two. And that's three over there. So you got the other one on the other side. So the two bottom ones seem to be working pretty well. Oh, we're done. Wow. Yeah, be Easier than expected. Yeah, yeah. So three pins are out. And now just, as you guys can see, we got the airbag right behind that and the pins have been taken out. Now it's just a question of removing those plugs. Yeah, it seems like it's uh I need to get rid of a screwdriver for that. There's, there's a little pin that's kind of locking the ground in place. So I'm gonna get the screw. Oh, get that. Okay. Pin. Thank you. That's out of the way. So there's nothing. There you go. Yeah, it's done. And then the clip. Pretty straightforward. So now we're just gonna undo this Allen bolt here. Okay. So that's the Allen bolt that we need to remove. Yeah. What, what size? 10 millimeter. It's a 10 mil, okay. Yeah. 
it's going to be on there pretty tight so you need some leverage you kind of want the wheels to stay in place relatively so we don't screw it up okay there it goes you can hear it kind of breaking the Damn, it's just... did it move yeah you know when you hear that snap yeah that's it's when weird. the ball broke loose I put it in. yeah because it I, it felt like it yeah. broke but um yeah. it just snapped off and that's it i guess it's just you, a lot tight yeah and it's probably yeah. you, you probably will have to find out what what you need to torque it back to in terms in terms Not of like, really you just no? tighten it as, yeah. as tight yeah. as possible yeah all right and then they just undo all the connectors Okay, so you guys have, yeah. you guys can see there's like a bunch of stuff over here. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it came off easily. Usually you have to kind of knock around the perimeter. Yeah, for the clock loose. spring? Yeah, and then kind of rock it back and forth. Yeah, no, I saw yeah, that. It shifted. Just, yeah, and this kind of just, just loops. Wow. That's probably the easiest wheel I've had to do. Maybe that's why the uh, the bolt was so tight on. Because yeah. everything else was going to be simple. Yeah. Well, okay, so that's off. That's off. Yeah. And then it's just transferring all the parts. With this two here and the, the paddles. Okay. The new one. So these are... The two steering wheels, OEM, and that's the new one. So, just gonna be loosening up some screws. Gotta get to that one. See if we get to that later. So it looks like this is for the paddle shifter. Oh, the screw over there? Yeah, yeah. so I, I shouldn't need to replace that one yet. Take it out yet. I'm thinking maybe this part comes out. It looks like it's one piece. So it seems like once you remove the three screws, you just have to pull on each side very carefully, like right behind this area over here. And you pull very, very slowly, but also with a bit of force and it'll just, it'll just click out as you guys can see. And it's like these, these two mainly that's holding yeah, it that in place. Pin. Yeah, and that pin over there. Yeah. And then you also have that pin over here. This, I think this it just sits in there. It yeah, it sits it, in there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not a. It's it, it just sits in there. It doesn't yeah. actually keep it in place. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. No. And then we'll just do these for the paddle shifters. All the same screws. It seems like it. The, these are for the paddle shifters and. Okay, so yeah. they're a little bit shorter. Yeah, this one I don't even, might not even need to undo this one. This one maybe. Should just be able to push this out. And then once you remove the paddle shifters, the back cover can come off as well. Oh, and then there's the heaters. The heater element, yeah. Now, just so you guys know, uh, we're not gonna be putting in the heater element on the on the new replacement steering wheel just because um we don't feel like soldering anything onto the new steering wheel and take a risk now i'm assuming that plug you just did was was that for the paddles that's for the heater oh for the heater I okay think, yeah. oh, there you go Tape them. all right and i think that's it so that's the old core Here is a new core. Reverse. Now it's just a matter of reversing the same process. I guess I didn't need to do this one. Clicks right into place. Now you can just screw in those uh, screws for the paddle shifters. this up so I'm just trying to get it out of the way somewhere 
So because we're not using the heater element, um, he's just gonna cut off that piece over there because it's a little bit frayed. So in order to avoid any sort of issues. But so far it seemed pretty straightforward. So apparently like the four wires there's power and ground and these are two signal wires. Right. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward if you wanna wire that in. Alright, let's click this in. Yeah, you just gotta make sure to get that in the right notch. Yeah. Hold on. Uh -huh. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Did it go in? Yeah, it, I. It's in, and I just have to kind of push it in a little more later. But it's just kind of in the right slot. Okay. 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 One sec. Mm. I think we're golden. Everything mm. seems to be okay. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. And plug everything back in and we're good to go. Pass it into the top. Just from here. connectors on top and I'll plug this heater back in as well all right let me check to a straight dish <clears throat> it's not always gonna line up and that's why you sometimes you have to get an alignment afterwards yeah makes sense yeah. good and then the airbag and we're done that's pretty quick you got it yeah i just gotta hold it push it back in there you go nice and quick let's check another warrant in the way that should be it. Uh, clicks? Three clicks and that's it. Oh, is it three clicks from the C pins? Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. And yeah, just check the fit. Yeah, the, the, the fitment, sure. yeah. yeah. Check out the fitment. Seems like it's good. One. And that's two. Okay. And now we're all done. So this is how the aftermarket steering wheel looks like. Gorgeous yellow stitching to go with the flare yellow exterior and with the stitching here in the middle on the airbag cover. And then you got some carbon fiber with the nice thick, this is a nice thick leather now. Thick sort of padding over here all around. And then you got a flat bottom here. So really, really nice stuff. So a nice little cold start after installing the uh, brand new uh, aftermarket steering wheel. We want to take it for a test drive.
just listen to that rumble. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick DIY video on how to install an aftermarket steering wheel for your Lexus LC500. It seemed much more straightforward than uh, we originally expected. Believe it or not, the hardest part, uh, based on what we saw, was actually removing those two little covers on the back of the steering wheel. Aside from that, everything else seemed to be pretty much straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, guys, thank you very much for all the views, all the likes. Make sure to stay tuned for more car content. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.